Right, welcome one and all to The Shadow Scythe plays XCOM episode 6. Recapping from last time, we lost an entire squad and beginning to think that odd numbered episodes are the ones in which everybody dies. And at the moment we're waiting on a half dozen different things to count down in order to get myself in a better position to work with. So first of all, new soldiers arrive. Then alien materials, wall of text. Nanofiber vests are the ones that I'm after in order to make sure that my troops live a bit longer. So let's buy those right now. One, two, three, four. And the next thing we're waiting for is a satellite to go up. There we go. And we're just going to fly straight through this because I already know roughly where I want to put it. I want to get maximum amount of cash and regain some panic as well. So that's gone straight up over Russia. And then the next thing to go up is the workshop, which has just completed. And thinking about things out loud, I need to do some excavating for later facilities, and then go back to looking for trouble. And there we go. Multiple reports of new abductions in progress. The locations are marked on the hologram. Right, so one panic, difficulty eating, easy. New recruit, heavy sergeant. Argentina, difficulty moderate, cash 200, which I'll need for things later on. Or Los Angeles, which is moderate again, scientists 4. All of these are going to be of benefit to XCOM. Scientists, obviously, faster research. 200 will give me the ability to buy things later on. Mostly workshops and satellite up uplinks at the moment. And South Africa will give me access to a sergeant, which will then give me access to the officer training school, which, of course... I'd need the 200 to be able to buy. Thinking about all of my plans of actions out loud, I'm going to go with the Recruit Heavy Sergeant and get Nanofiber Vests on the go. Yes, I'm going to be looking at lower accuracy for everyone, but I'm going to switch over from Vests to Scopes the moment I can get some better armour. For now, it's just making sure that everybody survives long enough to be able to get these better things later on. So, let's get everything into motion and see if my plan of action is working. We need to get down there fast. We picked up a local broadcast indicating alien activity. Right. So we're looking at bridge mission. Fair amount of cover. Ah, I know this map. One is clear to engage hostile targets. Watch your backs out. Right, Ragnar, Wagner. Move up, get him to fire in position. Jack O'Brien or Breen. Breen. Right, you have unveiled those sectoids for me. Thank you very much. And let's see. Okay. No, I can't. Can't hit them yet, but I can force them into flanking, which Good means job. they will run Good next turn round. <coughs> so long as I survive this mission, I can get my hands on a new heavy. For now, I don't need to worry about the recruits so much as I do just making sure I survive this. Amen. Right, awesome. And Good Thin Mints. Right, fair enough. I can deal with Thin Mints. And they go running. Right, okay. So, Wagner. Headshot him. Oh yeah, that's what we're talking about. Nine damage is alright by my book. So, does up to four damage. 10% critical, 65% hit, take that shot. Okay, that's number one. O'Brien, can you finish off the job? You can certainly try. Oh yeah. Now then, Penna. Oh, 
can't send you over to that car. Can't do anything else with you. Move up and cover Wagner while he takes out the Thin Mints on the far side. Right, I was waiting for that one to happen. And he's going to Overwatch. Right, that's fine by me. No targets available. Can you pull off the same trick twice? No, you can't. Fine by me. Overwatch. Overwatch. We're gonna move up. And with nothing else to do, reload. Right, okay. Okay, now very, very glad I took that nanofiber vest. up without anybody getting hit. Right, come on then. On it. We're going to continue moving up. down, you're already reloaded. Can, yep, he's running. He's gonna try and... Yeah, he's put me into flanking. That's a bad, bad move. But he missed. So it's not quite so bad. And then Thin Mint number two. He's gonna try the same trick. But who's already missed? I have time-traveling plasma. Right. Fire. Take that headshot. Oh yeah, right, that's freed up the other half of the team. <clears throat> right. Bury him. Alright, come on then. Let's see if we can make him run. Too poisoned. We need a mercy evac now. Oh, come on. Poison and panic. Come on, don't do this twice. I'm on the move. Five percent to hit. Right, fine. Get behind the truck. Come on, up a level. Heading to that location. I'm on it. Moving to position. Let's make him panic. Well, not literally panic, but still. Give him something to worry about. Fine, go on to Overwatch. Obviously my theory about the episode numbers and deaths is you need to go a little bit awry. <sighs> Come on. Are you still panicked or are you just poisoned? Oh, reaction shot. Should have known. But it missed. And it's a good job it did as well, because he probably would have made the car explode. Right. Right, 
Come on then, Penner. Drop down, flank him, finish this. Now that's just ridiculous. He should have died then. Come on then, Wagner, finish the job, end this mission. No. And now he's going to take a pot shot at me, and the second rook dies. Boom. Come on. Bury around in his cranium already. Can you do it? No, you can't. Let's turn this camera around. Heading out. Oh, this is just getting old. I'm not losing an entire squad to Thin Mints again. One Thin Mint, no less. No, 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 no. No, no, no. Okay, fine. Didn't mean to do that. That's me being an absolute twat. Day, another successful operation. Yeah, if you call that successful. <sighs> right, this is how it's gonna be. If only there was something we could have done. Some aspect of our research that we perhaps overlooked. Right, squad site for him. Let's get this up and running. And heavy. Laboratory. We will be in touch, Commander. I'm sure you will, but in the meantime. Fire rocket. Hollow targeting boosts up other people's hit chances, and shredder means that I've got two rockets for the price of one. In the meantime. Situation room, grey market. Sell those bodies. Engineering build facilities. And the officer training school is uh, well over 90 out of my reach. Uh -huh. So this is how it's going to be. Four days until that's ready. Eight days until the other's ready. <coughs> and ten days until the satellite. Twenty until the council report. Okay, fair enough. If that's the way it's going to be, I'm going to cut this episode short here and make sure that everything is ready for Friday's episode, which will be episode 7. Which will probably be when the next UFO turns up, at which point we are going to suffer horribly. So until said point, I will bid you all adieu, and see you in episode 7 of the Shadow Scythe Plays XCOM. <laughs>